This is a story of two beautiful sisters with the greatest bond. In this story, Lara must find her strong younger sister in another dimension. I know, I know, I will use the portal with Moo. Of course, the, the portal. portal, yeah. Together with Moo, the flying moose, Lara must travel through time and space. What do you say? Moo doesn't really have a choice. Wow, we're here. This is amazing, Moo. We can't go back now. Let's find the cave. She must find the ancient tree with all the answers. But like every story, things get worse before they get better. Wow. Where is the cave? Stupid tree doesn't know anything. Oh, this is hard. Lara is beautiful, but she can also get crazy. <laughs> Nothing can, can stop, stop me. me. Help me, Diamond of Wisdom. Show me the way to find my sister, please. Please. Amazing. Finally, the path to my sister. Here I come. No matter what, Moo, I want you to know that I appreciate you. Thank you for helping me. Coming this winter, only in Dimension Alar 2 Subscribe to get your tickets, or as they say in Alar, Bitaka. Hello everyone, in this video I will go over the workflow that I used to create this short animation. This workflow includes ChatGPT, Photoshop, Luma AI, Eleven Labs, Udio, and Adobe Premiere. Let's jump right in. So for starters, I created the story together with my nieces and included ChatGPT for some of the parts. I would say that 70% is human made and 30% is AI inspired. Things like having the story being about two sisters and going through a portal and riding a moose was part of the story we wanted to make. Moving on to the characters and the illustrations, I used my own custom GPT inside of ChatGPT. All of the images and characters are created with the Dolly 3 model inside of ChatGPT, except these two images here. These were made with me journey. I just used these as a B-roll while the narrator speaks. She must find the ancient tree with all the answers. But like every story, things get worse before they get better. So to create characters that are somewhat consistent, just start the custom GPT and fill in the descriptions. A quick tip here is to include as many details as possible. This really helps to create similar appearances across the different images you generate. Also, make sure you have the story ready so that you can generate all of the scenes in one go as ChatGPT has a tendency to forget your character and even if you write the same descriptions, you will get another character that is not as similar. If you want to create your own consistent characters using Dolly, I've put the link in the description down below. The next step is to edit the images and fix the small details using something like Photoshop. Photopea is a free web-based version of Photoshop if you don't want to pay for it. I could have put more time and effort on this part and made the images better, but it was enough in my opinion to create a demonstration for this video. Here are two images I fixed using Photoshop's in-painting and generative fill feature. In this example, I had this beautiful image of our main character. The only problem here is the sweater she is wearing. It doesn't have the same pattern and color that I want. To fix something like this, you can just crop out the clothes that you like, save it as an image, go back to the image of our character, select the sweater and use the in-painting or image reference feature and upload the image of the sweater. And after a few attempts, you'll get something similar. Now, if the images had been generated by Midjourney, something like the Vary Region feature could be used instead. In this case, these were generated by ChatGPT, and even though there are an in-painting feature inside of ChatGPT, I don't like it as much as Midjourney's or Photoshop's image reference feature. Now, for the next step, we need to turn our images into animations. There are three really great AI tools available for that. Kling AI, Luma AI, and Gen3 from Runway. You can use a combination of these tools for this step. In this case, I used Luma AI for all of my images. I believe that I was lucky because I didn't need to re-roll or regenerate the same scenes more than three times to get something that I really liked. For some of the images, I only generated it once. Luma AI is available for free and you can animate a bunch of images every day. Lastly, I used Eleven Labs for the voice of our characters and narrator. Stupid, Trey doesn't know anything. There are a bunch of different voices. You can also generate an entirely new voice and there are multiple languages to choose from. Yay. Another great thing with Eleven Labs is that you can create the sound effects here as well. 
you can just type here and describe the sound effect and you'll get four different variations to choose from. I really like this feature and I am impressed by how good it is. Here is what I got when I wrote footsteps on dry leaves in the woods. Here is the sound effect for water splashing against a rock in a running river. Speaking of sounds and audio, for the background music and instrumental I used Udio, which is still in beta but it's free to use. You can generate entire songs with lyrics, instrumentals, choose the genre, extend the song and many more features. Another great alternative is Suno and you can also use your own lyrics if you already have the text for a song and generate an entire track from it. So once I had all of the things I was looking for, I just opened up Adobe Premiere and put them all together. DaVinci Resolve or CapCut are free alternatives if you're looking for a video editor. If you found any part of this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Send me a message if you need help creating your own short movies or need guidance or help along the way. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.